Hi, my name is Dave Young from Young Circuit Designs, and I'm an analog electrical engineer. Now, I do my work a little bit differently. I work mostly remotely for my employers and clients, so I thought I'd show you what my lab looks like and the things that I find are helpful for doing a lot of work from home. So here's my lab in Denver, Colorado, where I work for most of my clients. I've got uh, the lab set up, the hardware area, working on my desktop and my laptop. So I'll start here. This laptop is extremely important for when I need to program boards or program FPJs or anything like that. If I get test results here in Denver and I need to repeat them at a client facility, I need to make sure that my development environment or all the settings, everything is exactly the same when I work there as I work here. So 100% of my programming or firmware development is done right here on this machine, despite having another great computer right here with giant monitors and webcam and tons of memory and fast processor. All that stuff is wonderful to have, but I give up on that because I want to make sure that I can take my work with me when I visit clients. So the next area is my lab area. I've got the static bench, static controlled bench with the wrist strap that I'm not totally sure how often ESD hits happen, but it sure makes you feel better when you're in the environment the whole time. It keeps you from chasing your tail, I think. Next, I have my equipment. First, got to have a triple output power supply, got to have a function generator, and you got to have an oscilloscope. Those three right there I get used all the time. Also, my DMM, and not just any DMM. You can't go to Harbor Freight and get a $15 unit. You want a good DMM to trust, something that you know isn't going to throw you for loops. Also, my soldering equipment, I have a, a nice soldering iron here. You want to have one really nice soldering iron that heats up quick and uh, has solid tips so that you don't frustrate yourself every day. And then I have a solder pencil. These things are great for working on leadless chips. I mean great. Uh, and right now, they're so cheap. The Chinese have brought them down in cost. I bought this unit for 100 bucks on Amazon. Not too shabby. Over here... I've got my bookshelf, but on my bookshelf, I have the caution shelf. This is something that people very clearly know that is fragile. Anything on there, you don't just throw your keys. Um, and to be honest, this note isn't just for other people coming in the lab. This note is just as much for me. Uh, moving along, in the lab, we have my tool chest and parts bin. This, this uh, dresser is full of parts, measurement equipment, tools. Anything that I might need late at night. The parts bin up here is a big help. I mean, if you're working at 11 o'clock, making awesome progress, you don't want to stop for the night, but you need some part or some tool, being able to turn around and grab it saves so much hassle. Uh, also, in my closet, I have more parts bins. I can't stress enough how nice it is to be able to buy parts and tools and just keep them aside. They'll, they'll become useful another day. And finally, in my lab, I, I have boxes and boxes of stuff. I get stuff shipped all the time, so keeping a shipping account is nice. And also, having a, an account with Element 14 or Newark and DigiKey and Mouser is great for getting parts. Most of those suppliers, if you have your order in by the end of the day, you can have it the next day, that morning. Um, that saved my butt more than once. Also, I just got a 4 gigahertz scope on rent. Uh, these guys... We'll rent you a $30,000 piece of equipment. It's not cheap. I used to think they'd rip people off, but boy, it, it, it really saves you when you need a 4 gigahertz scope and you don't have $30,000 to spend to, to buy one. So that's my lab. That's how I get things done every day. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments.